Hey everybody, welcome, for, welcome, welcome back, back to fun, Corruption fun. of Champions. No, no, no. Episode 1. No. This is Final Fantasy 9. Alright, do you want a boy or a girl champion? Shut up. Okay, how big do you want your penis size? Stop it. 7 inches. Oh, should have went with 10. This is for kids. We're going to have kids watching this. Are we? No. They're mostly from <laughs> India for some reason. Well, like, a lot of our viewers come from India, Canada, oh, and America. I see. And Mexico. You want to go to the forest. Oh! <laughs> what is wrong with you? Yeah, it's very... Do you not... Did you never run into the tentacle monster in that game? No, I avoided... I... I... I looked up information on the game so I could figure out how to level up my character faster and uh, what I could do to grind. And then I read up on all the different monsters. It's in like the first forest area. I read up on all the monsters that you get um, and then that you can run into. And I saw that and I'm like, nope. It, I could never run away from it. Not if you're too low of a level. All I know is yeah. that I went to the gym all the time and grinded. That actually helped me level up. How did up. you get to the gym before getting to the... Oh, no, I mean, like, I got to the forest first, but I... Oh, you kept on exploring for areas. Yeah. Okay. And then I got to the gym, and I made sure... I just ranked up... Kept beating all a bunch of lower enemies and kept building up my coins so I get the lifetime membership. And I actually never used the gym. I found a... Uh, the the gym. Uh, male rat, who's also a monk, and you can train with him, and it's even better than the gym. Oh, yeah, I, I found him... And he teaches bit. you moves, too. I found that a little bit later on, actually. I found him very quickly. Because I... I and After a while, I learned that, like, after, like, playing through it once, and then, like, deleting that character because I got butt root by the tentacle monster, and I didn't want my character to lose his anal virginity. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, you know what? I'm never going to the forest again until I'm level 15. Or level 5 or whatever. Whatever the tentacle monster's level was. So I went to the the uh, lakeside. Like, that's the only place I would ever go to, really. And I ended up running into a lot of characters. I ended up getting the beautiful sword, which is, like, the best weapon in the game. I got the, um... You only played it because it was an RPG. Yeah. I got the sexy chit... Uh, chit Chitin armor, I think it's called, or something like that. Oh, it's made out of bee, bee armor or whatever. Yeah. And it's like, it doesn't have a uh, bottom half, so you have to wear like a mini skirt with it. Jeez. Hey, sometimes, sometimes I wore um, the uh, freaking bikini underwear to uh, seduce characters. Wow. I had a sedu seduction level of five, okay, it was maxed out. All I know is that... I used it on characters that I'd run into that were higher level than me. All I know is that, um... I, I seduced a Finx. Um, that... When I first played it, like, I didn't know that you could transform your character, so I would always get, like... You would eat the stuff? Yeah, and then, like, when I checked my character, I had four tits, blue skin, <laughs> a vagina, no balls, and I was in a, a two-foot penis. And I'm like, what the hell? You're like, what the freak happened? <laughs> So and for me, what the the thing you gotta realize is like, if you eat it once, you get certain things. Yeah. But it, sometimes it's random. Yeah. So I would always eat the shark tooth like once or twice because you get shark teeth and a shark tail. Yeah. And that'd give you really good skills. But sometimes you get four testicles instead. <laughs> and like, well, time to delete this whole character. Start all over. Well, well, I would I would create multiple save spots before I did that. That's when. Uh, that stuff, and then I accidentally got uh, raped by the bees, and then they <laughs> and put they impregnate. You. Yeah, they put eggs in you, and I was like, "Nope, going out of that." I also got like a a rat follower or something. The rat girl. Yeah. She like a and like you gotta, a like help her rebirth her race or whatever. Oh yeah, that was really weird. And yeah. then the freaking ant follower that you get. Yeah. You gotta help her rebirth her race and start yeah. her own like colony. Yeah. It's such a weird freaking game. Yeah, it is. And then the freaking trap um cafe waitress. It's, yeah. It turns out to be a guy, and you don't know until you have. Sex. And I'm just like, wait, you're a guy? What the frick? Eh, 
It's interesting. It for if you speed tap, which I did, that's why I got a lot of that stuff happened because I was like, oh, this is too much. There's a lot of text. I'm trying to get through this battle quickly. Or like when I'm when I actually speed tap because I'm you. See, like my muscle memory is from speed tapping through battles, and I can because I I was able to beat him quickly. Mm -hmm. But then when I go and talk to people and buy stuff, I speed 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 tapping and buying and eating stuff that I don't want to do. And then I'm like, whoops. Most of the stuff I just collected and sold. There were a few things that I actually did eat. So yeah, we that's a that's a game that nobody here should play. Yeah, please avoid that game. It's very, very weird. It's well, unless you have a wide variety of kinks, or you just don't mind that sort of stuff and find it funny, like I, me. I, I mean, like, I, it's, it got boring for after a while. Yeah, because it's very text based. Like, if it had a little bit of animation and like sprites, and or like at least, text it, on or, the ju- side. or just list, at least images or something, like a like a sh- image of like, like where you're at or whatnot. That'd be kind of cool. Or to sh- the sprites also don't really show you much, so you can't really tell if the characters, whatever. Yeah, they're like really small eight bits sprites. Yeah, and again, there's a lot of things you might not want to see if it gets animated. Yeah, like the tentacle, rape. tentacle or the gr- the giant turtle that puts you in her vagina. Oh god, I did not, I did not enjoy that. I was like, wait, what the frick's going on? Oh, she inserted me in her vagina. Uh, so that's that, a you know, weird. So like that's how we started this episode. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck was going through the person's mind who made that game? They're a furry, Justin. They're more than just a I furry. I follow them. Because they have updates on the other one. They're called Tits. Yeah, I know. I played that one too. That is actually kind of interesting. I didn't really like it too much. It, the it was more sci-fi. The what I do like is they did they don't use sprites. They actually use images of the characters. Yeah, this and then time. they had a map on the side too. Yeah. Because the map actually really helps you out because, like, in the previous one, you don't know where you're going. I don't... Did they ever finish Tits? Because I feel like I got to a point where the no, story just it's, stopped. No, it's still... They're still in development. They just released a new one, actually. Weren't they also working on one called Eden, where you play as a girl? Yeah, I think so, but I don't know how far that is. I stopped following that one. I... If... My if, computer or phone could never run it for some reason. It always crashed. I stopped paying it like I stopped paying ten, uh, paying attention to what they did because like like I just you know, like I'm just gonna wait until they fully release the game. Yeah. The only thing I ever really follow is Or if um, I really even care at that point. The one uh what if Adventure Time was a three D anime game. Is that the one you were playing on your PC and you're dying a lot? That boss. The, okay, I don't even care about the hentai in that game. The combat in that game is so freaking well done, I would just play that. I don't even play it for anything but the combat. There's hentai in it? Yeah, it's a hentai game, originally. But he, he's like, okay, I want this to be more than just a hentai game, so let's throw some combat in there. And the dude did so great at the combat, I don't even care about anything but the combat in that game. Th- wasn't there a boss you were fighting? I remember you raging out here. I was fighting the... Uh, soul form of the real Finn. It's like the cartoon Finn put into the game instead of like the 3D Finn and you gotta fight him in order to unlock Finn's sword. And it was a recent release that I was playing that time. And you were playing a hentai game where our mom was sitting here. Well, there was no hentai at the part there. Yeah, anyway. You, you can avoid all the hentai actually in that game. But anyway, uh, It's optional. Just like yeah, I know. You, all I know is I heard you rage and then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna wait until you're done and then just and then it just, was so freaking Getting hard, up, dude. Drinking your, shaking, shaking your chair, throwing your glasses across the thing. It was so insanely hard, but it was, it's such a fun game. Did you ever beat it? Yeah, I did. I beat him. Oh yeah, I remember that. I remember you were saying, thing. you're like, fine. It was so hard, I, dude. Like, that's like, that's, that's like a Dark Souls boss, wasn't it? Yeah. It's a hack and slash game, and it's it's really good, it really you, well you, put out. So I'm guessing you stayed away from the hentai stuff. Is there a story to it? No, there's no like actual story. I mean, What's, the story is, how is the hentai the... parts really. Oh, he said he was thinking about making an actual story for the game, but he doesn't know if he'll actually do it because that would be a lot of work to put in just to a hentai game. And I'm like, dude. You've already put months into this. He, what he should do is take what he did with the combat of the game and actually make a, 
a hack and slash RPG that isn't hentai. He might. He said he might do it. Because if, if with the from what you're saying, that could go well on Steam. Again, Steam doesn't mine certain sexual stuff. No. He sells. He sells like the most recent updates on his Patreon, and then once sells. Uh, I think so. Like, because you're not. He's not allowed to sell that. That's copyrighted uh, uh, material. I I don't know. I don't know it's what like he, he doesn't own the rights to those characters. I don't know if he sells it. He he asks for. I think it's like more donation style. Like he, the games for free, but people can donate to see like, um, like him, like specific work and whatnot that he's working on at the mm. time. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. Final Fantasy VII does have an airship. Yeah. I forgot. So it's only 15 then. Does 13 have one? Yes. As a few of them actually. Isn't there a black guy that's on your team at the beginning of 13? Saz. Is he any good? He's a gunner. Is he uses he's a, guns. He's, he's a pretty cool character. Does he stay with you for the entire game? Yep. Alright, so he's a main party member. All of them are main party members. Every character you run into. They're all main characters. How many are there? Let's see. Lightning, Saz, Snow, Hope, Vanille. Uh, forgot the girl's name, but she's like an Amazon type character. I think that's it. Six. That's six. How many in this one? About the same. Because I know you're going to get, you have these four, and you're about to get that rat, or rat girl, right? She's a main character. There has to be at least, yeah, I remember you and saying. And there's the dreadlocks, dude. That's five. And then the cook, the chef monster thing, that's six. He's a, he becomes a character you fight with? Yes. Is he good? I don't know. I've never used him. How do you know he's one of the main characters? Cut scenes. Uh, Chaz? Chaz and the art on the. Cover Box. art, yeah. Okay. A lot of Final Fantasy games have it where it's like six characters. The first, the first one was only four, and the second one was only four. Uh, it wasn't until the third one when they added. I think the third one might be still a four, though. I don't think it was until the sixteen-bit ones where they started adding more than four characters. Um, I don't know if seven has more than four. Yep. I know you have Cloud, you have um, Tifa, you have, um, what's the, Barrett? Barrett. Um, and I know you have... Are we counting just main characters? Main characters. Because you can have more than just the main characters on your team, because you also get Biggs and Wedge on your team at one point. I mean, like, just through main characters through most of the game. Would we count Aerith? Because she Aerith? dies. No, her name's Aerith. I thought it was Aerith. People Aerith is the... Um, Translation. Anyway, go ahead. Um, her name is actually Eris. But, uh, um, yeah, for her, um, how long do you keep her for? I don't know. Like, maybe halfway through the game. I would say longer. characters that you get by the end of the game. Besides the. She's in your party for a, a lot of the game, actually. Okay, so who. No, what characters do you have at the end of the game? Like, when you fight towards the end? Cloud, obviously, and Tifa. Barrett's still there, right? I think so. Red 15. And. Um, Vincent. Vincent. And Vincent I wasn't Vincent. sure if... I know Yuffie's in 8, not 8, 7. Yeah, Yuffie might be part of your team as well. Because I, I know in Crystal... Because I know in Crisis Core that um, yeah. she's she, like... She, she shows, shows up, up yeah. yeah. Early on. I always thought she was from 8, actually. Because yeah. she shows up with Squall and King of Hearts. That's why I was thought Squall that. is the only one from 8 in that game. No? Remember? The... The Urqua... Oh, I was talking Kingdom Hearts 1. I'm talking about the entire series. Oh, uh, yeah. Cypher and his group. Also come Are they bad guys? Oh, actually, I forgot. Selfie, the little girl. She's a younger version of the character from 8 as well. Um, yeah. A lot of the ones from the island are from Final Fantasy X, actually. Two of them. Two of them. Um, they made y selfies They made them. Yuna and the whatever the ones from Ten Two like fairies. Or yeah, but that's the Yuna from Ten Two. I don't like what they did with that. No, they shouldn't have made them fairies. Like I understand the treasure hunter thing because they were technically treasure hunters in Ten Two. Yeah. 
but making them fairies, that's, that's ridiculous. The only reason they made, they used that version of Yuna is because at the time, Kingdom Hearts, or X2, 10. 10 2 was releasing, or had already released a year before it, and they just wanted to include it. Yeah. I mean, it was a cool <laughs> idea, they should have just done it properly. Like, make them actual human characters, and not just little fairies that fly around? Or at least younger versions of themselves. Weren't they, um, weren't they actually, uh... Summonings as well. You could summon them actually. I think so. Yeah, I think you they also were... get a keyblade from them called the Gullwing, which is the name of their ship. Um, I don't get what happened to the Yuna becomes a treasure hunter. Is this like before or after ten? It's after ten. It's like a two years after ten, and she said she um. What happens is um. Okay. I don't know. This might spoil the ending of ten. This game won't be coming out for... Who cares? Everybody's playing... No, for you. I've seen the ending of 10. I saw okay. my friend play the entire game. Okay, so you know what happens then, right? So yeah. in 10-2, Yuna finds a um, hollow sphere, or whatever they're called, like a movie sphere. Yeah. And it shows him what looks to be him, Titus, trapped in like a cage underwater or something. Or not underwater, somewhere. And yeah, I don't... I, don't really know where it's at, but he, anyway, he's trapped in like a Machina style cage, and she's like, "Wait, that's him." And so when she finds that, she's like, "All right, clearly, clearly the closure that I had is gone, and I gotta go out and search for clues and see if he actually is still alive and out there somewhere." And that's what starts up the Sphere Hunters. So wait, what? So they look around for different spheres. Oh yeah, because at the end of the game he does vanish. Yeah, he, he vanishes into thin air and dies. I don't know the ending of two though. Ten two, I never beat it. Well, we can always play it now that we have ten two. Mhm. Mm I never actually owned that game until like the remakes came out. I always saw it, but I was like, eh, I don't know if I wanted it's it. It's got a pretty interesting battle style. It's not like ten. Is it a turn-based one? It's, or is it more like it's 15? It's action turn based. It's like 12? No. It's like 7, seven and 7. Sense. Oh, okay. So where they attack. It's atta got a bar they, that builds up. So they can attack but whenever. But also, it's got something called a sphere grid. Yeah. Not like 10 sphere grid. It's different. It's called. Well, no, it's not called a sphere grid. It's called a garment grid. And what it is, you put spheres in there. And those are the classes you can choose from for each of the characters. Mm. So, like, <clears throat> the garment grids you start off... What are you looking for? I, was, I, was, I didn't know if that opened or not. The garment grids you start off with are Warrior, which is Pain, Thief, which is uh, Riku, and Gunner, which is Yuna. And they can switch between all those. And whichever classes you get, you can continue to put in the garment grid to use. I wonder where, why, how uh, Yuna got that outfit, though. I don't know. It's part of that garment grid. It's pretty hot, though, I gotta say. She's actually really hot in that game. She's hot in both games. Um, but, uh... Pain is the hottest. Pain is is new in ten two. She wasn't in the first ten. Yeah, I think she's Lulu's sister, or... Niece or something. I thought she I might know. have worked with uh, Riku though, because they look like they would work together or something. They do. They work together in Ten Two. I don't know her backstory though. Because she was a new thing. Yeah, she and they don't explain it right off the bat. I think they explain it as you go further into the game though. Um, wait. So yeah, I forget. At first, I thought she was Lulu's daughter, but then I was like, wait, no, she's way too old. Um, for um. For um. 10. Now, both Aaron and Titus are supposedly not real when they show up. Yeah. So they both disappear. At first, what I thought was, is, um, they were... Uh, it's... At the, there's something different between Aaron and Titus. I don't know how to explain We'd it. We'd have to just do the story, it's, maybe. It's really complicated, because Aaron is technically dead... And so he's a... Spirit. You know how, like, the monsters, when you kill them, they have those spirits come out? Yeah. He's like that. Uh. He never went to the far plane. So he's a collection of... Uh, fey spirits is what they're called or something in that game. 
and they embody like the spirits that stay in the world and the monsters that are in the world. So theoretically speaking, Orin should never be able to die in your party. Hmm. But he does anyway. Well, it's because, you know... Yeah, it kind of be unfair. Yeah, oh, it'll make it way too easy. Well, in that regard, Tila shouldn't be either. He shouldn't either, because he's technically dead then. Or I just feel like he gets transferred to a different time. Tidus is, he was real at one point, and he died. And at first I thought it was, he didn't die, he got transferred through sin... That's what I thought. But no, what happens is... Um, somehow, Sin gets into... Uh, he gets pulled out of the uh, dream of um, one of the... Uh, one of the summonings. Because the summonings... The way the summonings stay alive is people sacrificed themselves to become summoning spirits. And you know that little kid that you run into? He's a summoning spirit for Bahama. You mean the one in the beginning? The one with the hood? Yeah, he's the summoning spirit for Bahama. But then, how did... And he, he when he comes into the... the beginning of the game, that's how you know that it's his dream. So, really, you're just the dream of a spirit. And you get dragged out of the dream into the real world to help beat Sin by Orin. So wait, Orin is a dream? No. The kid is Orin? No. The kid is the summoning Bahamut. He's a monster? He's a spirit that takes form as a summoning. And all I just explained that all of the summonings yeah, I heard are that. people who were sacrificed and their spirits sleep in order to become summonings. And so they can dream. Yes. And they all have a dream. And, and that's and, what creates that summoning. So Titus is just a dream. Yes. And he was a real person at one point. But that summoning dreams of the past. And when when sin destroyed Xanarkin. Oh, and so it dragged him from the dream into the real world. Yep. So he technically did die in the real world, but the real the one that's in the real world in the future is not the real one that died thousands of years ago. That's very confusing. That's like Dragon Ball Z, cell android and saga shit. They the somebody oh, actually tried to do the same thing with um. Jekt and Orin. Tried to bring them? Well, actually, Orin was uh, originally from Spira. He wasn't from Xanarkand. He became friends with Jekt because the spirit dragged Jekt out of the uh, dream world as well. Alright, I gotta end this. A yeah, very complicated story. I had to look it up and read it to You should probably it. say it since there's a Moogle there. Where? Over there. Oh, I see him. You gotta get out of the... Big old chunky monkey. Uh, he's not the one with the monkey tail. You are. Oh, that's moved on. Why do they, they have different names? Yeah. Buh. We should go back to Got Some Glory. Uh... Don't you remember all the fun we had in that game? No. Why? I remember all the pain. That you went through for nothing? Yeah. It was your fault for not reminding me to hit the record button. Oh yeah, definitely my fault. You're the responsible one here. You handle all this stuff. I, I, I'm just here as talent. Yeah, talent. I am the talent. That's why I'm... You are the brains. I am the talent. Uh, that would also make me the talent. Yeah. That's why I'm better at Smash Brothers. I don't say that to my joke. Uh, I, I did. Beat you twice in a row. Uh, I beat you, I don't know how many other times in a row. Twice in a row. I beat you 